Hi, this is Mark Pittman from fundraisingcoach.com here to teach you how to start your very own Google Plus Hangout. First thing you need to do is go to googleplus.com, so plus.google.com, load up your account, and then you'll see on the right here, underneath the uh, suggestions and invite friends, you'll see start a hangout. So you click on that, and it loads, if, it ha if you've already downloaded the software, it loads it, otherwise it'll um, ask you to download the software. And you're taken to what is wonderfully called the green room. Uh, they ask you to check your hair, make sure your mic works. There are two ways you can do that. You can look down at the bottom here, uh, and then you'll see there's a green mic, and, and the volumes are going up. You can mute your video if you wanted to, but that's kind of pointless in a Google Hangout. Um, so I unmuted that. And you can also check your settings here. What I love about this is they want you, you, they let you see, can you see yourself? Can you see the mic meter moving when you talk? And then you can, can you hear a test sound? The biggest problem that I find with Google Hangouts is that one of these three things don't work for people, and it's usually the sound for whatever reason. Um, so you can choose your microphone as a default device, or if you have something plugged in, you can uh, change that right here in settings. Uh, I also highly recommend that you enable echo cancellation. It makes it so that when, uh, if you're using just your computer speakers, that the speaker sound coming into the uh, coming out of your computer doesn't feed right back into the Google Hangout. Uh, it's highly annoying and uh, creates a very weird echo. So just en enable the echo cancellation. Click the save those settings. And then you have to invite some people. So I want to let's say with my I want to talk to my nonprofit tribe. And you can also if you don't want to do a circle, you can just do an individual person. I'll say I want to include John Hayden specifically in this invitation. Uh, and then you can just start your hangout. That loads up, and you'll notice that the things on the bottom have some more buttons to them now. So you see yourself right here uh, in the middle, and you can see that the, my mic's going. If there were more people in the Hangout right now, my face would be big at the top, and there, everybody else's would be uh, along the bottom here. If you're in your Hangout, you can click Invite. If you want to invite some more people, you forgot someone that you wanted to invite, you can put, the, put them right there in the space. Um, the chat window I recommend always having open. Chats are great because there, there's two uh, important things that I found with Google Hangouts with chats. One is that some people don't just are in a cubicle or something and can't use their microphone to talk, so they'll chat. It's an interesting way to do a hangout. The other thing is if you have links that you want to share or cross-reference, you can do that. So those are, the chat is very helpful to always have open. Another cool feature with Google Hangouts is that you can use YouTube. So they have a YouTube button right there. You can search uh, for whatever video you want to share with everybody so everybody can share in that experience. Um, and, and from YouTube, you can also start a Hangout yourself. And, uh, of course, you can always mute your video if you're, somebody walks in that you don't want everybody else to see or if there's some noise going on around you, you can mute your mic down here at the bottom. You can always change your settings, and then you can exit. And that's how you start your very own Google Hangout.